Yeah, hi there. These comments um, are for, I'm just going to use your initials for privacy purposes, so I'll use uh, N-A. And I just read your independent practice test number 39, and this is for our midterm exam for TOEFL Level 6. Uh, one of the issues here, you're having some fundamental problems on a few levels. Now, let's look at the most basic, biggest issue you're facing right now. The question says, analyze each viewpoint and take a stand. That means in paragraph two, you should talk about why some uh, want to make large amounts of money, and I wouldn't offer any criticism of it at all. Simply explain what the, what the opinion is from this group, objectively. Then in the third paragraph, discuss why other people are satisfied to earn a comfortable living. Again, do that objectively, present it as best you can using examples. Then finally, in the fourth paragraph, that's when you take a stand. You should explain what your position is and why. But if you look at what you did, you talk about having money is a double-edged weapon, it can harm you, it will spoil you, and uh, you're not really objectively discussing the two views. So on the, on the biggest, the most global level of your writing, you're simply not answering the question. Now, on another level, you're also having some sentence structure problems, right? So you have to be careful. You want to make sure you're controlling your writing. So let me give you one example. In the second paragraph, you say, having the money is a double-edged sword. It will benefit you. That's a comma splice. Because you're using the word yet, yet is a conjunction, but that can only join the previous independent clause and the one which comes after it. You can't use it to join two of the previous sentences. So putting the comma after weapon, that creates a sentence formation error, so be careful about that. Now also your vocabulary is very, very, very simple. You want to demonstrate a little bit better command, I think, over the language than what you're doing in this particular way. You say, having money is a double-edged weapon. It will benefit you in many ways that you can never imagine, yet it will harshly harm you. But you didn't give any examples in that paragraph that show how it's a double-edged weapon. A double-edged weapon means it has positive and negative um, results. You say it will benefit you in ways that you can never imagine. You say it will spoil you. But you don't give any examples to support any of those ideas. So your paragraph is very, very general without a lot of specific details. You want to stop doing that. You want to start including more appropriate details to support those generalizations. That's very, very important. And that helps make your argument stronger. All right, so those are some basic comments. I just wanted to point out one of your paragraphs and then give you an overall idea of how you will score and why. Now, based on the rubrics, I don't think you're going to score very well on this one. Uh, I'm going to put you at about 2.25 out of 5. And for our class, that's going to put you at about 67 points uh, out of 100. So you could do better than this. Now, here's my suggestions. I think you need more practice writing this type of writing. So you need more practice with essay exams. Between now and the final exam, I would recommend in a is that you take some additional writing practice tests at my site. I'll make sure that my teaching assistant grades them in a timely manner. And you, you just need more practice. You don't have enough practice. So as you're practicing, you want to work on developing your ideas with more detail. You want to work on using better vocabulary, higher level vocabulary. And absolutely, you want to make sure that you answer the question. Whatever that question is, make sure you directly organize your response around that.